You'll meet anyone with a custom car and they will tell you it is their pride and joy. That includes Bill Henry of Littleton. Just take a look at what he did with an old Chevy. It's amazing. And now his one of a kind car is in the running to be turned into a Hot Wheels toy. Dominic Garcia joins us live tonight. Dom, this contest is every car lover's dream. Karen, how cool would it be to have your car made into a Hot Wheels? Maybe not a car like my Hyundai, but this is cool. I love this story, but I really love the story behind the story. This is my 1954 Chevrolet Bel Air. This beauty belongs to Bill Henry. Well, there was a lot of work that went into this front end to make it work. When he first got it, it wasn't much to look at. In fact, it wasn't even what his wife wanted. She had her eye on an old Mercury. So I bought this car and brought it home actually on Mother's Day of 1998. And she still doesn't let me live that down sometimes. But over time, piece by piece, this old car named Lost Soul started to come back to life. For the first four years, I tried to go to the shop every night after work. I just had fun, you know, cutting and chopping and welding. But to appreciate Lost Soul, you have to know who named it. She passed away due to an infection from a transplant that she had. That's his daughter, Stacy, who lost her life to diabetes. But she gave him this bear and a walking stick before she passed away. You know, the two pieces of my daughter that ride with me all the time. His next ride, Las Vegas, where he will put up Lost Soul against 17 other vehicles. The winner will be immortalized as an iconic Hot Wheels car. They said it had to be blood, sweat, and tears in your garage, something that you hand built not something he just went out and bought. Whether he wins or not doesn't really matter. What's important are the memories he made with this car and the girl who named it. She was so proud of this car that I'm sure she's uh, very proud to see all this going on with it. So that competition is going to be on November 5th. Car is already out in Vegas. Of course, we're going to follow this and let you know what happens. In Denver, Dominic Garcia covering Colorado first.